Hi Taurus, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't seen it yet, your 2019 forecast is up and out there for your viewing pleasure. If you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. Before we start, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's have a look, see at what you are releasing, letting go of or removing from your life this week. Okay, and this week you get, oh, wow, you get the Nine of Swords. Really, you couldn't ask to have a better card in this position. This is really interesting because so far, all of the signs that have come up are releasing the heavy cards, the dark cards. Um, and this is great. So you're releasing the Nine of Swords. You're letting go of worry. You're letting go of fear. You're letting go of stress. A lot of you as well, I feel like, are clearing up your emotional and energetic centers. It's almost like you're delving into yourself and saying, right, okay, you know what? I can chuck that shit out now. Um, you know, last week we talked about you going through this process of kind of clearing things up or closing things down and with you letting go of the nine of swords it very much feels to me like you're chucking out what is outdated what is outmoded but it's about doing that internal spring clean um which is great you know to, especially to be doing this in the in the winter time because usually a lot of people kind of close down and they're like oh you know <laughs> get a bit sort of into it in that respect but i kind of feel like you're turning that energy on its head and saying right okay now i want to go through i want to go through a little bit of a deep excavation and check out the internal shit or baggage that I don't need anymore. And the Nine of Swords is a great card to be letting go of because it's the removal of stress, the releasing of anxiety, the releasing or, you know, just letting go of things that are bogging you down or weighing you down. And this is great. It's absolutely great. Um, also, for those of you that have been having sleeping issues, I know there are many of you because comments and emails have been flowing in about that. I really feel like this is the week where you're going to start to regulate that this is the week where you'll get a handle on your sleeping pattern which is amazing uh, so what are you working on now what is the bulk of this week what is the um the, the you know what's at the forefront uh, you got the four of pentacles this is great so it kind of feels like so the four of pentacles can talk about money it can talk about resources but it's also a card of stability and foundation and what it actually asks you for is um you know especially as what you're working on now this is about setting your goals it's about being clear and being defined in what it is that you want to create and where it is that you want to take something so if you're chucking out all of this stuff and all of the stuff that's heavy and removing all of the things that are holding you back this is the week where you can focus on even if it's just internally this is the week where you can focus on what you want for the new year where you want to, to where you want to take things from here how do you intend to build them up and it's kind of like you know you see him there he's sitting there he's quite fixed about everything you know he's surrounded by pentacles wealth abundance finances money and this very much feels to me like you're locking in this idea of right this is what I want this is where I'm going and it's kind of like like you're cementing that not just out into the world in terms of you know manifesting it but from an internal perspective and that is really really exciting and also very powerful and then finally what are you welcoming in this week what is uh, what's going to be new what's going to be coming in to change grow and challenge you uh, you've got the temperance card this is about finding balance um, and I really like this as well because if you're locking things in on an internal level so that they can filter out and start to manifest and become real then with the temperance card as what you're welcoming in this is basically like you finding some sort of personal secret weapon because the, the temperance card is about balance it's about patience but it's also about alchemy it's about how do we make the best out of what we have it's about how do you take the basics of something and turn it into something that looks like pure gold and the other thing about temperance is it gives you that inner peace and I really feel like you're going to find that this week you're chucking out the shit you're locking in what you want and you're staying focused on it and because the temperance card is linked to Sagittarius always got this mind on the future always got its mind on the highest the best goal that it can achieve this is what you're welcoming in you're locking things in and you are shooting that out into you know through temperance and it's kind of like rather than grabbing at things or wanting something or forcing it to happen this week it's kind of like you're just gonna be like yeah I'm gonna be in my zen and I'm just gonna allow it to come to me 
And that is a really powerful place to be in. Um, you know, as a, a, a side note, I saw something yesterday that basically said, um, you, you know, to, to, to manifest something, you ask for it. And then you kind of just let it go and let it trickle into you. And I really like that idea. Um, I've been playing with it myself over the last sort of two days and it's kind of cool, you know, it's, it's yeah. Um, anyway, have a, a look-see. I really hope this works for you and I hope it, that it helps for you. Let me know how it shapes up for you in the comments. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have an amazing week and I will see you very soon. Take care.